kids, I'm Tria and I am missing you so much at church and I hope you're having a great time having church at home. I am bringing you this week's challenge video for our Compelled by Love series so that you can learn everything that mum and dad are learning in big church so that you can talk about it at home. Today, I'm going to do a bit of a science experiment with you, but before we begin, I'm going to need some help. So I need help number one and help number two. Ah, these are my lovely daughters, Grace and Ella. Thanks for helping me out today, Grace and Ella. So before we begin, Grace and Ella, I have a bit of a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Disneyland is amazing? Yes. yes. Why is Disneyland amazing? Because it's Disneyland. <laughs> and also, like, my friends tell me that it's amazing, and I've seen it on, like, TV shows on YouTube. Well, so you've heard that it's just amazing, but have you ever been to Disneyland? No. no. Hmm, let's come back to this later. All right, so today we are gonna learn all about how God's presence changes our lives. But for that, we're gonna need a few things for our science experiment. So you can do this at home as well. What you're gonna need is some vinegar, some bicarb, and some dishwashing liquid. Gracie, can you go grab those things for me? Just over there on the shelf. And Ella, you are looking a little bit short, so I think I need you to grab a stool so that you can see today, because we need to be able to pour this big liquid in. So today we're gonna learn all about how changes our lives. So Ella, because you're on your stool, I'm going to let you be the presence of God. Hold on, hold on. Going oh, the presence of God is higher. All right, come back down. It's been dangerous. All right, so we have these vases at home, but if you, you can use any container for this science experiment, as long as it holds our ingredients, it'll be fine. So I'm going to give Gracie this one that we've labeled kids, and I've got one that we've labeled parents. Now here, we have some items. Gracie, what have we got here? We've got what? The Bible. Wonderful. Life and the Bible. So, we are going to, we are alive, aren't we, Grace? I would hope so. I would hope so too. So, we are alive. So, I'm going to add some life to my jar here. Just a little bit of life, you know, not too much. And there you go, Gracie. You add a little bit of life to your jar. Okay, tip it up. Okay, a little bit more, I think. A little bit of life getting in there. Get your life in there. All right, fantastic. So, we both have a little bit of life. Here. Now, Gracie, what do we do in the morning together? Read our Bible. We do read our Bible. You love to come downstairs and read your Bible with me. So can you add some Bible to your life? Because you love to read your Bible with me. Very good. And I also love to read my Bible. So I'm going to add some Bible to my life. There we go. Oh, you got more with me. A bit more. <laughs> a bit more Bible for you then, all right. All right, well, 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 like not too much Bible. No, we can never have enough Bible, can we? No. So we are going to mix those together. And Ella, you tell me how much I'm changing. Uh, pretty much the color. It's just turning a bit blue. Okay, so I've gone a bit blue, haven't I? So the Bible's changed me a bit here. I've gone really blue, um, but I'm kind of the same size still, aren't I? And I yeah. haven't, haven't really changed too much. I've still got that same liquid, still the same powder here. It's just turned blue. Now, one thing that I love to do in my life is I love to go after the presence of God. I really love to worship God, to pray, to read my Bible, to pray for healing, to tell other people about God. So I really love to go after the presence of God in my life. So, Ella, can you please add some presence of God to my life? Yes. Oh, thank you. Let's add that in there. Oh, 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 look at that. <gasps> I seem to be changing. You're growing. I am, I'm getting bigger, I'm growing, I'm so changing. Yeah. No longer do we just have a little powdery substance at the bottom. We're now, oh, I'm about to overflow. I'm now going Don't to overflow with the presence of Don't God. Let it come off the oh my goodness. Now, what about if we compare the two? So, like, this one's still the same, isn't it? Even though I've added the presence of God to my life, the kids one hasn't changed. Maybe you could try adding some of your presence of God. Okay, so if I add a little bit of my presence of God that I had as a parent to my kids' life. All right, here we go, Gracie. I'm gonna add some of my presence of God to your life. 
We've got that there. Now, what's happening? We're getting some change. We're getting some bubbles. Oh, it's not really the same though, is it? So there's a bit of change happening, but it's not really bubbling over like it did over here, is no. it? Oh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Not much though, is it? What do you think we should do? Maybe you um, could add some more presents of garden to So, from mine? Do you think from mine? No. No? It won't work. It won't work. So, do we need the, the presence of God in your straight from God to you, do you think, Ella? We need to know he's alive. We need to know he's alive. Okay, add the presence of God to your add the kids' lives. There we go. Oh! Whoa! Oh, okay! Whoa. That was a bit too fast. So now, oh wow, look at that. We're getting an even bigger reaction. Wow. Yeah, that's unfair. I need some presence of God in my life more. All my kids are going to. Oh, it didn't really make any difference. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're overflowing now. Wow. So there we have it. So as a kid, your parents might love God and teach you all about God, just like I tried to teach my kids about God, but it doesn't necessarily change your life the way that you, as a kid, experiencing God will change your life. And when you experience the presence of God, that's what happens. Your life is changed. It's not just a little bit changed either. It's dramatically changed. So just like I said earlier, do you think Disneyland would be great? Yeah. yeah. But have you ever been? No. No. So what if you actually went? Would you then know that it's great and not just be told that it's great? Yes. Yeah. That is right. So just like when we know something's good because our parents have told us it's good, it doesn't necessarily mean that we really understand it until we've experienced it ourselves. So I want to challenge you guys this week to go after the presence of God. I want to hear all about how you're worshipping God. Maybe you could have a soaking time with God, just like we showed you the other week. Maybe you could read your Bible some more. Maybe you could pray for healing. There's so many ways we can go after the presence of God. And if you're not sure, ask your parents how they go after the presence of God. Because just like we saw, they can influence you, but it's God himself who changes your life forever. So, have fun going after the presence of God this week, and thank you for watching our fun science experiment. All right, everyone say bye. Bye. Let's go Disneyland. Oh, let's go to Disneyland. No, we can't. we're not going. <laughs> See ya.